One of the most common treatments for cancer is chemotherapy. The problem is, a chemotherapy that works for one person may not work for another, and often the only way to find out is for the patient to try it for several months. That is the problem that Sayer Al-Harbi has been working on. Although only a graduate student, he was the head researcher in a team that developed a so-called predictive marker, a method to test whether a person is likely to benefit from a certain type of chemotherapy, in this case, a new medicine targeted against leukemia and lymphoma. The whole idea behind this uh, the marker is to know in advance uh, whether a patient is going to respond or, or not. So the marker can identify patient with high chance of, of, of response or those who are going to be resistant. So this eventually would, would lead to develop a better way of, of treatment. Mr. Al-Harbi was the lead author of an article describing the breakthrough in the journal Blood, a leading peer-reviewed medical publication. He was given his award for outstanding work by the Cleveland Clinic, the prestigious medical center in Ohio where he has been a graduate student for the last five years. It took around almost uh, four years of, of hard work. And the thing, because sometimes there is a, a logistic problem, for example, we don't have access to, to patients with, with the same uh, disease or with the same uh, tumor stage, so you would have consistent data. This is one of the biggest things. But hopefully we, we made it and we developed this great marker. There are nearly 70,000 Saudi students at universities in America. Almost all receive a King Abdullah scholarship, which pays all their study and living expenses. Of all of them, the Saudi authorities here chose Mr. Al-Harbi as the first recipient of their own award for achievement. On behalf of, uh, of uh, our scholarship students and on behalf of the ministry and the minister of higher education, I would like to present this, uh, this uh, appreciation to our uh, student uh, Sair Al-Fredi uh, from the Saudi cultural mission here in the United States. We wish him um, uh, a luck and we wish him um, a pleasant future, inshallah. Thank you very much. Sending tens of thousands of students to leading schools in America and other countries is very expensive. But officials say investing in human resources is the only way to jumpstart the kingdom's aim to turn itself into a knowledge economy. This is one of the main goals of our uh, ninth uh, national plan of Saudi Arabia. Um, and we are uh, moving uh, um, uh, very fast to, to just um, achieve um, uh, this goal. Of course, um, um, uh, you know, just investing in mankind usually takes time. You cannot uh, see the outcome within a short period as uh, the normal uh, infrastructure. Uh, so we need time, just give us time to see uh, the effect of, of this investment. Cancer treatment is relatively new in Saudi Arabia, but it is one of a number of biomedical fields that are being built up quickly in the kingdom. After five years of graduate studies at the prestigious Cleveland Clinic, Sayer Al-Harbi plans to return to the kingdom this summer and start working on new cancer treatments. But already, his award-winning test to predict the effectiveness of a type of chemotherapy will help cancer patients around the world. For our students abroad, this is Burton Bolag in Washington.